بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر the previous surah said, Alha kumut takathur, hatta zurtumul maqabir. You were deluded by your want of having more and more and more, which was a loss. And the next surah is going to be, Wailun likulli humazatin lumaza. And there you find, Kalla layum bazanna fil hutama. The person is being thrown into the hellfire, Narullahi al muqada. So there's loss before and there's loss after. And then in the middle is the surah that says, Inna al insana lafi khusr. This is the surah of loss. It's situated between those two. The other thing to note about this surah, Allah Azza wa Jalla, the last thing He told us was, ثُمَّ لَتُسْأَلُنَّ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ عَنِ النَّعِيمِ On that day you are definitely, certainly going to be asked in regards to the favor and the blessings that you enjoyed. And this surah begins with the greatest blessing that we enjoy. So Allah says you'll be asked about all the blessings, but what's the biggest blessing? It's time itself. Then the previous surah talked about the great distraction. At takathur, we talked about takathur being something that distra- you know alhaqum at takathur distracted you. We uh, were too busy wanting more, competing and getting more, showing off what we have to others. This is what we're busy with. But the surah, previous surah, didn't tell us what are you distracted from. Usually Allah says la tulhikum amwalukum wa la auladukum an dhikrillah. Don't let your money and kids distract you. But he doesn't stop there. He says distract you from the remembrance of Allah. There's a from. But there was no from in the previous surah. What are we being distracted from? That's the, that's the question that's left open. And in this surah we find, what is it that most human beings are distracted from and they don't do? إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالصَّبْرِ When we go into the detail and the, the lessons of this last ayah of Surah Al-Asr, we'll find this is what most human beings are not concerned with. They're con- we're preoccupied with other things. They're distracted from this task. And this is the only task that can save them from loss. Subhanallah. The central term in the previous surah, the central term was takathur. And the central term of this surah is actually khusr, loss. A takathur means to gain and want more and more and more. Khusr literally means to lose your most essential assets. We find this surah is also very similar in, one, in many respects actually to surah al-teen. And in that surah Allah Azza wa Jal says, إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ فَلَهُمْ أَجْرٌ غَيْرُ مَمْنُونَ Famous surah, right? إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ Here what does he say? Something similar. He says, إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ But says it a little differently. This time he says, وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالصَّبْرِ It's a little bit different. Here also there is mention of the human being, Al-Insan, إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَفِي خُسْرِ In that surah Allah also mentioned the human being. He said, لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي أَحْسَنِ تَقْوِينَ So there's mention of human beings in both, there's mention of those who believed and did righteous deeds in both of them, but there you could compare them together as far as their theme and their structure as negative reinforcement compared to positive reinforcement. But when you combine the two lessons together, you learn some very remarkable things. There Allah said the human being is created in the best possible form. Here He said, roughly translated, every human being is in a state of loss. If He's created in the best possible form, then why would he be in a state of loss, right? Then it's a tragedy that you're, you're even qualified to be successful, and yet still you ended up being a loser. 
you still ended up losing. So Allah Azza wa Jal did not tell us that the human being is in loss first. He told us the human being is qualified to be successful first. And it's his own failure that leads him to become of those who have lost. إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَفِي خُسْرٍ This comes later on. But that declaration is earlier. In this surah, Allah Azza wa Jal mentions four things at the end. You all know this. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالصَّبْرِ Four things. But three of those, or two of the last two things that are tawasi over and over, وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالصَّبْرِ They're both actions. Roughly translated, they are communicated as enjoin the, to enjoin the truth, to enjoin perseverance. That's how an average translation addresses the subject matter of وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالصَّبْرِ But they're actions. What's the, ayah, what's the part of the ayah before that? وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ they do good things. They act right. They, they they act out righteous deeds. Isn't that also actions? So Allah Azza wa Jalla mentions iman, which is a thing inside of you. It's not outside. It's on the inside. Then he mentions amal wa amilus salihat. But he usually only says those two things. He doesn't go further. But here, what does he he say? Wa amilus salihat, and then adds two different specific kinds of actions. Wa tawasu bil haq, wa tawasu bil sabr. The lesson from that is these are the actions that people will overlook. Then there's the issue of uh, uh, just the word wa between all of the conditions that Allah put. You know what uh, wa does as opposed to aw? Right? Wa, what it is, is it's something you have to meet. The only exception to these people are people who do A and B and C and D. Which means how many of those things do they have to do? All of them. If you put an or in between them, what happens? You could do some, you could do some others, right? But if you put and in between them, then the only people who will meet the exception are people who fulfill all the conditions. So this declaration in this surah is very powerful, and the exception is only one exception, but anyone who wants to be the exception will have to meet four conditions. Usually in the Qur'an, Allah mentions two conditions. Which two conditions? الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ Those two mentions two conditions. But in this surah, He mentions how many? He mentions four conditions. Now, in, the seri- in this series of, uh, of discourse, what I want to share with you is in the previous surahs, Allah has made comments about the human being. In other words, that you remember Al-Hakum al Allah is actually directly complaining to the human being in that surah, saying, what deluded you? What was it that took you away from the grac- your gracious master? Then Allah said, Ya ayyuhal insan, innaka kadihun ila rabbika kadhan fa you, you forgetful human being, you are chugging away towards your Lord. Like it or not, you are headed towards your Lord, effort after effort after effort, and you're eventually going to meet Him. There's no avoiding it. You could be distracted all you want, you're still headed in that direction. Then He told the human being, لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي كَبَدْ We created the human being in enormous toil, meaning the life of the human being is full of labor. Whether you want to live like a believer or live like a kafir, it doesn't matter, you're still going to have to work. So your, your life is created in struggle, why not make it a struggle that will benefit you here and the next life? And why should you have concern for the next life? Allah Azza wa Jal said, لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي أَحْسَنِ تَقْوِيمِ He went further a few surahs later, we created the human being in the best possible form. He was designed to, to achieve high things. But unfortunately, he wasn't able to achieve those high things because what do we find in this surah? إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَفِي خُسْرٍ Important considerations before we get into the surah itself. One more is the general principle versus the exception. When, whenever you use the word illa, except, except, you are talking about what we call in English an exception. What is in majority? What is more in number? The rule or the exception? The rule is in more number and the exception is very few. You say, everybody came except that one. Now in this surah, what is the rule? What is the majority situation? Asr inna linsana lafi. Because that's the rule. Human beings are immersed in loss, in doom. What's the exception? Illa alladhina amanu wa amilu salihat wa tawasaw bil haq wa tawasaw bil sabr. By presenting the exception as those who believe and do good deeds, etc., that we're going to study, by presenting them in the form of an exception, what we're learning here is this is not going to be a lot of people. This is going to be few. The vast majority of human beings will be in loss. That's the, that's the rule. And the exceptions will be a few. May Allah Azza wa Jal make us from the exceptions.